Now next is one of those stories that exemplify what sport is all about, fighting against all odds. You know, in 2011, Kenyan-born runner Marco Cesseto almost lost his life in Alaska, USA. He survived but lost both his feet to severe frostbite. Eight years later, he became the marathon world record holder for double amputees. Aida Waringa with his story. It's safe to say that growing up in the Rift Valley, Kenya's athletics hub inspires many a budding athlete. Add to that having the first African female marathon world record holder as your aunt. Well, the way forward is pretty much set. Growing up and, you know, of course, Tekla Lorupe, it was a dream of every kid in the village to be like her. But nothing could prepare Marco Cesetto, who went to Alaska in 2008 on an athletic scholarship on the death of his cousin, William Ritequiang, three years later. The 23-year-old was a fellow University of Alaska athletic scholar and teammate. He called me, he wanted to talk, but I was still at school. I didn't know that there was something that he really, really needed to talk about. I thought it was some normal boys talk that would wait. And I told him it's a Friday, we have a lot of time over the weekend, we can talk. Went home that evening and he was no more. He had hanged himself in our apartment. Unbeknownst to the then 28-year-old, his cousin had been in the throes of suicidal depression. This tragedy sent Marco on a tangent. By then I was on antidepressants. I took some antidepressants and went for a run. And so I passed out from the drug overdose. He came to after three days in negative temperatures amidst a massive search that was covered by international press and involved Alaska state troopers. He crawled in the right direction to a nearby hotel, sneakers frozen to his feet, and was rushed to the hospital. They have made a decision to amputate both my feet below the knee because of frostbite and I was starting to have gangrene. Down but not out, Marco was fit with walking prosthetics 45 days after the amputation and was using carbon fiber blades to run barely two years later. The now United States citizen got several half marathons as well as the 2018 New York City and 2019 Boston Marathons under his belt before his career-changing race. The weekend of October 12th, 2019, so Kenya dominate headlines for all the right reasons. Eliud Kipchoge became the first man to run a marathon in under two hours, while Bridget Kosge broke the women's only marathon world record in Chicago. Marco was in Chicago as well, rewriting history, albeit a bit more quietly. I ran at 2.37. That's the fastest time ever ran by someone on two prosthetics. Breaking the marathon world record for double amputees inspired many back home. Marco, who notes lack of handicap support structures as a major challenge in Africa, also has to contend with negative stereotypes when in the motherland. Some people also still see it as me torturing myself. Why would you do this? Is there anything else that you can do rather than just running on these uh, modified feet? Nonetheless, Chasato, who works for a prosthetics company in Florida, hopes to one day bring what he's learned back home to help the handicapped. I see, I've seen some amputees here today, and people are walking on crutches, but then when I see the level of their amputation, I know for a fact that those guys don't need crutches. He also echoes Buddy and world marathon record holder Eliud Kipchoge's sentiments. I don't want people to see their thinking. They are defined with a phenomenon that happened in their life. There are so many things that I can do. I have a family, I still run. Marco with perhaps one of the greatest life lessons. It's not the cards you're dealt, but how you play the hand. And then we're good, yes? All right, thank you so much.